Hey everyone, it's Gabrielle. I'm going to be doing an update on my hormones and I've been on hormones since March 24th, 2015. So it's been I think a year and five months. So many changes have happened and I'm really, really, really comfortable with my body right now and I'm going through a really great time in my life and I wanted to share these changes with you and tell you guys about what's happening and how everything's been changing and, and where I'm at. I just want to first just say that I do not plan on telling you guys my dosage because I don't want you to try and take the same dose because self-medicating can be very dangerous and I do not want to be responsible for anyone self-medicating. Don't put that on me, girl. Put that on you. But don't do it, so don't put it on you. Put it on a doctor and make a doctor get you on hormones. Um, but for me, I do take est estradiol, estradiol, okay, est estradiol. Okay, you know what, I can't say it. Everyone always grills me for it, but I can't, it's not my fault. I'm just, I just take it, I don't know how to pronounce it. But I've been taking that since March 24th, 2015. I've been taking that since March 24th, 2015. 15. And I'm going to get into everything from the bras that I started wearing and what cup size I'm at now. Um, I'm going to show you guys changes on my body too so that you guys can all get a little bit of info about this. So we're going to start with the bras that I initially started wearing and then what I wear now. So I started off... Um, wearing a bra like this. This is like my first actual bra. So cute. I don't know what cup size it is, but it's not very big. It's like, I don't know, it's your basic bra. It's an, It was not ever very big, but it fit me a bit. But now it wouldn't, because my boobs are too big for this. Um, but I started off wearing this, and I wore it, no joke, for like months. Well, I washed it, obviously. But this was like my go-to bra, um, and sometimes I'd wear chicken cutlets with it. Not legit chicken cutlass. I would never put that on me. But this is a bra that I started off wearing. Um, actually, no. Well, this was like the first real bra that I started wearing. But I, I have this white one that I still wear. And it like fills in now. Like my boobs fill the bra in now. But before, they did not fill the, um, the boobs in. And I used to have, wear chicken cutlets. But this was my first real bra that I started wearing after I got hor got on hormones. And I think my mom bought it for me from Winners. So there was that one. Um, oh, and then I'll get into like what I wear now. So I wore that bra for like a really long time. And then I got into... Okay, then I... Uh, this is literally everyone's favorite... Oh, shit. I'm close. This is, no joke, everyone's favorite bra. Um, it's this one. It's like all cute and stuff. Um, so it would go like that. But, you know, wearing this one was like really annoying because of the fact that it has the sides here. Um, it's really like wiry. So it just wasn't comfortable on me. I wore these two interchangeably, but I wore this one for a long, long time before I got this one. But these were like my first bras and I literally never wear them anymore. So to what I wear today, yeah, I'm currently wearing a Victoria's Secret bra and these are all my boobs. Like, you see this jiggle? I could be a belly dancer. No, I wouldn't. Um, but yeah, this is just a Victoria's Secret bra. Um, legit boobs, boobs. And that's the one I'm wearing currently and like it's one of my favorite bras. But when I'm not wearing that one, I have this one from Victoria's Secret too. My mom got this for me for Christmas, and I think it's an A, um, but I'm a B now, so get into this. See how all this space? Do you see this glow up? Can we just take a moment to appreciate the amount of depth? Oh shit, I sound like I'm talking about my new vagina that I don't have yet. It's coming, don't worry. Um, but can we just appreciate the depth between, like, this one and this one? Like, boobs. These are, like, my bras. I have more, but these are just some that I wear and, like, I started wearing them. But, um, I love this Victoria's Secret one. It's so comfy. I love it. As for my face, my face has totally changed since I started hormones. It has filled out quite a bit. I was very, um angular before and I feel like my face is a lot more round now which I'm I'm perfectly fine with because estrogen thank you um, I'm gonna insert like a picture or a video of me talking again 
um, like here, whatever, hell, I'll, I'll do it in iMovie, it's fine. Um, but, so you guys can see the difference of today, oh actually, maybe I'll put a video from last August in. Should I do that? I'll put a, I'll put one of my videos from last August and then, oh yo, I think in those videos I was wearing a bun too. That's so funny. Um, but so you guys can see the changes in my face and it might not even look that noticeable, but it's definitely there. My face is a lot more round. There's a lot more puffiness to it. So there's that, which was like, oh, yo, yo, when my face started filling out, I just felt so much more comfortable with myself and I felt like I could look in the mirror and I just saw more me and that also really happened when my boobs started growing I felt a lot more comfortable with myself and I felt like I could I don't know I just there was like this confidence boost that I never experienced before um, so then we're gonna get into the body changes because a lot of people want to see those that's the butt le boute it's it's definitely grown quite a bit surprise me darling okay so so I'm just going to move back here so you guys can see kind of like the shape of my body now. I'm dead ass standing on a chair to do this. I'm getting more of like an hourglass shape, not really, but the waist come through waist. I'm not dancing. Okay, so that was my hormone update video. I hope you guys found it informative because, you know, I did show a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you have any questions about breast growth or uh, fat redistribution in the face, the hips, or anything like that, or just any questions in general about hormones, feel free to ask me and I'd be happy to make a video for you. Till I see you next time, stay sweet, subscribe, share, and thank you for watching. Bye!